Recently, Escape Motions asked me if I would do a blog post for them, talking a little bit about how I go about setting up a painting so that I can print it out when I'm finished. So today, what I'm going to show you is how I set up and determine the canvas sizes that I want to use, how I do the painting, and then at the end, how I use the NanoPixel export to help me get the file ready to print. So let's have a look. My name's Pete. Welcome to Basement Picasso. So what I'm going to, to do today is a uh, painting that I ultimately want to print out. And the printer that I've got is uh, an Epson 3880, which I've had for quite a while, but it's a very good uh, printer and it can print up to A2 size. So one of the things you want to work out is the exact dimensions um, of the artwork that you're going to, to work with. And if you do a quick search, then you'll find lots of information about uh, paper sizes and actual dimensions. Uh, I found this uh, quite nice uh, site. Uh, and it's got a whole load of paper sizes. And what's quite nice is as you hover over them, it actually gives you a visual indication of the, the size uh, to give you a sense of the, the scale of that particular format. Um, and then for each one of these, it's got the approximate size and the exact size, which is really nice. So today I'm going to be working towards ultimately printing out uh, an A2 image. And we can see that that's uh, 420 by 594 millimeters. So that's the uh, size that I want to, to work with in the cam in the, with the canvas when I set it up uh, within Rebel. So within Rebel, we open the program and then we're going to do File, New. And that gives us the dialog that allows us to set the uh, size of the artwork that we wanted to create. Uh, I work with A2 quite a lot, so you can see that I've already got uh, a number of A2 uh, variations and the size has been set to uh, 42.0 by 59.4 or 420 by 594 millimeters, which was um, what the, uh, the site said was the size. And uh, what you can see at the moment is if we set that to uh, 300 DPI, which is ultimately what we want to be able to print to, then you can see we've got a very large canvas size. It's over 7,000 by almost 5,000 pixels. Uh, and we could certainly uh, create that uh, and we could work at that. But the two things you'll find with that is working at higher um, sizes, then you'll find that the, the brushes are smaller because the brushes are in pixels. So a 700 pixel brush uh, on a 7,000 canvas is obviously only a tenth of the scale of it, so it's going to be much smaller. Um, and the second issue is that uh, there's a lot more processing to do, so particularly when you're using things like uh, a lot of watercolour running around the page, uh, more pixels means more processing, so it's going to be slower. So what we can do is to gear up for the NanoPixel export. Uh, and that allows us to uh, export at a factor of times one, two, three, and four. Uh, so what we do is we sort of work backwards from that. So we start with where we want to finish up, which is our A2 picture at uh, 300 DPI. Uh, and a very quick way of doing this is to effectively just divide down the DPI. So if I was going to do a two by two export, I would just divide the DPI by two. We can set that to 150. And you'll see that the pixel size now drops down significantly to 3,500 by 2,480. Um, so that would be suitable for doing a, a two times export. Uh, we go back to 300 again. If I wanted to use the three by three export, then I can simply divide the DPI by three, put it down to 100, and you'll see the pixel size drops even further to 2,300 by 1,600. Uh, and that would now be suitable pixel size to, to then export at the end. And then lastly, it also supports uh, four by four. So if we divide 300 by four, 
we get 75. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a 75 option, but you can actually just go in and type 75 in the interface. And you'll see that that gives us a pixel size of 1754 by 1240, which is much smaller, it means the brushes are going to be much bigger uh, and the program will be much uh, faster while we're using it. So that's what I'm going to use today. Um, and then we'll do the, the four times export at the end to get us back to the, the correct pixel size. So let's use that and uh, see how we get on during the painting.
now that I've finished the painting for today, what I want to do is export the image ready for printing. So we're going to use the NanoPixel export. So when I click on that, it brings up a, a little window with the option to choose the size of the export that we want. Uh, and it shows you the details that uh, it will give you when it actually exports the image. So you can see the pixel size that we chose right at the start and the uh, size in terms of inches. Um, and what I, I want to do is to export it at the uh, four times a nanopixel export. So that's going to give me the, the full uh, pixel size. So we'll click on OK. We'll set the file name and choose where we want to put it and then save that and that'll take a few seconds and then it will have created the file. So if we open up the picture that we've just exported using the NanoPixel technology, then what you'll see is uh, we should be able to zoom into that and there's now uh, a lot of detail because it's exported at a higher resolution and it's preserved and enhanced uh, a lot of the, the underlying canvas texture and the, the paint thickness so we can uh, really see these uh, marks in the canvas texture sitting underneath. So what we'll do now is uh, print that out uh, and have a look. So there we go. Once the printing's finished, we can pop it in a frame and that's our A2 painting finished. So I hope you found that helpful uh, and interesting. Uh, you get any thoughts or comments, please um, leave them below. Um, if you can give the video a like, that would be fantastic. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of these, then please feel free to uh, subscribe. Uh, this video accompanies the uh, blog post uh, that goes on the Escape Motions uh, website. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, down below if you want to go and have a read of that. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Then.